There goes Colonel. Good morning, team. This is my last day in Texas before I'm heading to Kentucky. Then I'm heading to Florida. Home is going up for sale. A lot going on, but I got to give it a dangle. My last day in Tejas. What's going on here? Colonel, why? Why are the girls not out here with you? Are you just the first one up? Waking up and then the girls are still sleeping? Hope everything's okay in here. All is good. You're just the first one up. Have a good day, sir. Always good to see you. Man, I'm just gonna miss Colonel crowing in the morning. It's just good vibes. I've got to get this boat in the water. I've got to get it wet. I want to see if it's how bad it's still leaking and if it'll catch some fish. Some hot summer, some bass or some crappie. I need to see if my local boat ramp's open finally. It's been two months since it has been. As I'm driving to the lake, man, you know, moving, not really sure where I'm moving to, but I, I have made this drive to this lake so many times. But now I'm just wondering like, where's my next home lake going to be? I gotta be, I gotta be somewhere around water. It's gotta have, it's gotta have bass, crappies, let there be cats, cats. Um, we gotta have it. This is it, moment of truth at the Big Lou. I'm already seeing a bunch of cars out front. Just, God dog it. It's closed, it's freaking closed. It's been closed for a month and a half. Nothing worse than seeing a lake with not many boats on it. You can't get out there You're like, oh man, them fish that had been messed with, they're ready for me. Got a gate. Man, screw this. I'm going to head home. You know, the problem is I can't, I can't go very far. So I got to be around the house, help Stephanie, stage, stage her home, selling. We got the real estate agent coming over. It's something every day selling the house so i haven't been able to get too far away going to a lake you know my daughter yesterday she she was she was asking me about a cat catfish but she got a you know pretty good catfish one time and to her that is like she brings that up all all the time it's like in her fishing memory bank i have fish like that that i still remember that were just such a big deal you know i've caught thousands of bass but you go back and you remember those like first few fish that you caught you didn't get to fish that often and you catch something of significance it was a huge deal anyway that's catfish to her i think i'm just gonna grab some stink bait and we're just gonna sit there and see if we can catch some cats <sighs> and now a train is coming what the heck man seriously Want you guys to look at our our tax dollars at work here see how many people are on this train did you count them yeah well, you're lucky if you counted one such a waste of money going into walmart walmart to save the day hopefully with some stink bait Let's see if they got some stinky morning catfish bait in walmart Walmart, always. We ended up getting our catfish bait, catfish uh, bait holders, some steel leaders for the beach. Head to the beach, just a couple of days. A Frisbee for Emmy, they got me. Paw Patrol tackle box, my son is obsessed with Paw Patrol. Uh, so I'm gonna go home, give that to him. He might tag along for, uh, for a little catfishing, but He'll probably end up just like sticking his face in the catfish bait or something. Hey, good morning, buddy. Yeah. What are you watching? House. What is it? Puppy oh, puppy pals? Oh, did I get the wrong thing? No. What, what, what do I have in my hand here? What is this? 
Is that Pop Joe? Yeah. Uh, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking. Peach? Oh no! Oh, no. oh good catch with your feet, dude. Wow. Well, I was thinking about lunchbox. Mm, how cute! Is it tight? Yeah, I put it in there tight. It's all good. Can you say thank you, Daddy? Thank you. <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. He wants to go with us. Well, we've been spotted trying to sneak out and go fishing. Let me see. Let me see what the status is of our little buddy. What's the matter, bud? What's the matter? You wanting to go? Where's your, where's your tackle box? Is it inside? I think I'm going to leave him for the dangle. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. He's just not quite old enough yet. Think you can get that, bud? Yeah. All right. Normally we take the golf cart, but the golf cart's out of, out of commish. Yep. Okay, you better watch out for snakes, bud. Watch out for snakes. Okay, looks like we got some gar rolling out here. Lots of things for the kids to play with. A lot of driftwood, flooded stuff. Water's kind of dirty. Lots of gar. My goodness. All right. First five minutes I've stepped in the mud. So has my son. He's lost his shoe. Wife's going to love that. Probably get a bump by something on our stank bait. We're going to let this soak for about 10 minutes. If I don't get a bite, we're packing her up. It is a mud bog down here. Double kids, double the fun. Go try to find some seashells. Okay. Can I find it? Yeah, seashells. No, all you. Hmm, she didn't go in. Look at this. Bean pod. Root pod. Bean pod. Getting a nibble. Get ready, Emmy girl. Pick it up. Getting ready. Don't don't pick it up yet. Daddy, check. Oh, Daddy, check. Yeah. Let me check it. I think if we try one more time, you guys want to give it five more minutes? No, I want to go back and play frisbees. You want to go back and play frisbees? Uh huh. Okay. You got some tough feet, son. Yeah, you do. Y'all both do. In the basement with OSG. I don't think we've been in this room with them before. Maybe when we first created the or not created them. When we first painted the room. Yeah, routine. Staying up late at night. We're doing home stuff. Wasn't able to... Uh, got one bite from Catfish. Kids got stuck in the mud. What a... <sighs> It's been a week. I, been I'm, a I'm not even able to go fish. Like it's just it's just not happening. Um, I'm jumping on a plane tomorrow. I'm heading to a uh, to a bow rally. Going to the Bow Tech Bow Rally. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I've always wanted to go to one of those uh, one of those events, like a tournament, just to you know have fun, fling some arrows and see what I can do. This is so fun, guys. You don't even know. You don't even know how fun this is. If you never sold a home, you're just in for a, for a treat. Late night, doing paperwork, getting up early. Heading to Nashville, Tennessee, gonna start the day with a tomato. Oh no, a bird done got off to that one. Here you go, chickens. Mmm, mm, that one's a little different flavor than the one I tried the other day. Different species, different varieties. Yeah, I got my bow case in here for competition. We got to stop off and get ourselves uh, some some archer stuff today. We're gonna try to find an archer shop in Nashville, Tennessee. See what they got rocking. Camera gear, of course. Fishing poles up there, ready to rock. Sitting in a rental car in Nashville, Tennessee, y'all. 
we're actually going to a place that I haven't been to in decades. Um, I, I lived up in Kentucky for around five years. I don't remember too much about it, to be honest. I, I remember way more from living around Louisville. But I do remember this spot that I went to called Mammoth Cave. And it's uh, just a natural the, it's a natural park. Some people say Bigfoot lives in there. I don't, I don't really know. But uh, Botech decided to hold a uh, an owner's rally up at this um, up at this place and there's like a, a park and so I'm gonna go check it out today the event starts tomorrow anyway got an invite to the rally always wanted to do uh, a, a course like this and uh, should be a good time so I'm going from there down to Destin catch some sharks what the heck there's a beaver on the highway as a valid Texan, I feel like it is my duty and honor to go see what is going on here. This is a Bucky's in another state. What? And I'm seeing flags. It looks like they are brand new opening out here. And it is packed, folks. Smith's Grove Bucky's. I'm watching folks just look around in amazement. They're like, what? What is this place? They're they're shoving brisket in their mouth they're getting you know candy pecans it's good <laughs> bucky's has reached it's reached out it's covered in the south i think there's one in florida too i've been to one in florida collect them all you guys want to see the you want to see the truck the chopper in the back of the trunk wow bam check this baby out all right this is what we're working with here folks this is why we're up here See if she made it. She made it. This is the bow that I have chosen to take up here. This is my carbon one. And uh, I got limited arrows. Limited arrows. I need to probably dial up some more. Didn't have time for the trip with all the moving stuff. But we stopped off at our nearest little archery section. I got me a quiver. A hip quiver. First time having one of those. I got me an Allen wrench, an extra one. I couldn't, couldn't find my other one. Probably gonna have to make some adjustments after the flight, you never know. And I got me some wax. Wax up. I feel like it would only be right for this grand opening right here, the Smith's Grove, Bucky's in Kentucky for a, for a Texan where Bucky's originated to walk in here and honor the porcelain gallery with my presence. Guess who checked me out in there? A fishing freak. I just came up with a great idea. One of these days, if we ever do like a like a tournament, like if Guggen does a tournament or something in, in North Texas or wherever, we have the weigh-in at Bucky's. And the boys will we'll, we'll put on the hair nets, we'll serve brisket, we'll we'll do whatever. But I just I have met so many people at Bucky's that are fishing hunting freaks outdoor just outdoor people um i feel like that it's just destiny you know I, and i know some of the managers watch the video so if you guys are out there if you, you want to do a, a a gathering holler at me holler at the squad we'll uh we'll get something together i think it's a good idea i think it'd be a lot of fun we eat a lot of brisket pump a lot of gas that my friends is where i'm gonna end today um, tomorrow we're putting on the quiver. We're gonna get out there. We're gonna try to <laughs> fling some arrows, get a decent score. Follow along, next couple days, Kentucky, Tennessee, going to Florida after that. We're gonna meet up with the fam, LFD, do some fishing. It's gonna be fun times. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and I'll see you on the next one. See you, Buckies. Welcome to Kentucky.